back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name is Simone today I'm doing a Tesco and Marks and Spencers haul most of the shop is from Marks and Spencers I spent a little bit more than usual this week because last week I spent 88 pounds at Tesco I'm going to link that video um, above if you want to check it out so um, this week I spent 117 pounds in Marks and Spencers this is for a family of five if I never said that already and um, and then I spent 27 pounds at Tesco so so I'm gonna start over here. So I can't believe the size of these. I got these um, big massive sweet potatoes. They're only 65p each. Um, so I'm gonna be making some sweet potato brownies again. They were absolutely amazing. I know that you might think, ooh, sweet potato brownies, but really delicious and the kids like them. I'll put a picture here if I can. So I got two of those. I got some lentils and I've got some classic hummus an extra smooth hummus and I've got some um, kidney beans to make some rice and peas again um, refried refri beans for a Tex-Mex meal and then I got this mushroom mince again this is starting to become like a weekly meal that I'm making spaghetti bolognese with this it's amazing it was reduced to £1.14 so I have got two um, packs and I'm going to put them in the freezer king oyster mushrooms and a big bag of Marie's hyper potatoes um, carrots and then I've got some ripen at home avocados and I've got a, another avocado somewhere which is ripe that we're going to use tonight um, spring um, onions frozen brussels sprouts um, green beans and um, them olives there from Tesco um, a bag of oranges and I got this creamy oat um, more than likely for the mushrooms and maybe also to put on top of the brownies um, some lemons, some mushy peas, and there's the other hummus. Got this for Salis, um, reduced to 49p. The kids really like these. Um, a big salted British butter, two um, cucumber, some asparagus, and then I got two packs of this um, espresso coffee. The other packs on the other side. Um, a bag of frozen chips, some spinach, Here's the avocado, reduced to 56p, it's quite big. Four chopped tomatoes and some cheddar to put on a chilli that I'm making. Um, tomato paste and then I got this, it was reduced again. Um, so this was £1.44, it should have been £4. It's really nice, this um, vegan chilli from there. Frozen spinach to put in um, curry and also some lentils and then I got these samosas again Micah really likes them so I'm planning on making lentils again and then I'll serve them on the side I got another Mediterranean um, paste um, I really really like this the flavour is amazing some tomato ketchup walnut oil because I've just run out um, the green lentils to make another chilli, um, Caleb really likes that when I make um, the chilli. Um, red um, Alaskan salmon, I got four oat milks and then a chocolate oat. Some tortilla wraps, two wholemeal loaves and I've got, this is the meal deal. Um, so I got this very veggie pizza. And then I got the cheeseburger pizza. Um, I bought this for the kids before and they really liked it. So it's £15 for a meal deal. And the sides that I got were, this is new. They don't usually have this in the side. So I got this vegan southern fried tenders. So I'll more than likely have like a couple of those. And then Ryan and the kids will share them um, with the pizza because I don't like pizza. And then I got them halloumi fries. Um, and then I got 15 eggs from Marks and Spencers and then cashew butter. I um, need some for that brownie recipe. Um, so this is what you use instead of oil because they're oil free um, brownies and also refined sugar free. I'm hoping to do a recipe of these brownies. Um, and I'll make a video and I will link it above when it's up. Um, so I've got two jars of that. And then I got this raspberry jam and then this pizza selection dip so there's barbecue hot buffalo and creepy herb ranch um for the pizzas um some honey and i think that's it for marks and spencers oh and i got this for the cat as well some biscuits so here is um the marks and um, the tesco sorry so i got some scottish oats 
and then I got this taco kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to warm up the chili from Marks and Spencer's tonight and use these tacos. But then the spices that's it that sorry the spices that are in it I'm going to use that when I'm using the green um, lentil um, um, when I'm making the green lentil chili. Then I will use the spices from from this. I really like the spice kit that's in there. And then this is new. I've had the This Is Not Bacon before and the This Is Not Chicken, I think it's called, but I've never seen these before. So I thought I'd give these a go and I'm more than likely going to do a review of them. I really like this brand. I got, oh yeah, these are from Watson Spencer's Six um, Breaded Haddock. Uh, Michael loves these. I bought some bread, uh, not bread, sorry, some um, flour to make um, a loaf of bread because Ryan, that's another thing that I forgot to show you actually. I got these steaks under here um, because Ryan's going to be making um, what's called a Gatsby, very popular in South Africa so he said that um, he'll film it so hopefully that will be all done and dusted and I'll be able to upload that video and we'll link that as well and then I got loads of frozen veg, uh, frozen fruit honestly <laughs> I'm all over the place here. I think it's because I've gone been shopping come home and I'm so hungry um, so I got three bags of pickled cherries um, for breakfast and I got some frozen pineapple and then I never bought the pome pomegranate seeds from there before but um, I think this is really good I think they're only two pounds something and to buy an individual pome pomegranate is quite expensive and I struggled to get the pomegranates out as well so yes I got them and then I've got some potato cakes I got two packs of that and then I got um, this perfectly imperfect mixed berries as well. So yeah, this is all of the haul. Um, I'm hoping that I will have a meal plan at the end of this video. So I hope you can stick around for that. Finish the haul. So we've got um, vegan chili for dinner tonight with refried beans, raw cabbage, lettuce, avocado, beetroot, cucumber, salsa, taco shells, cheese, kale, cauliflower and loads of chips so this is what is for dinner tonight so everybody's going to help themselves tonight for dinner is the pizza meal deal so we've got the three pizza dips here and halloumi fries and i just chopped up some cucumber the veggie pizza and the cheeseburger pizza got a little bit burnt on the end. Oh, I'm that one. The vegan oh, um, that one. summer fried chicken. Oh, I'm not joking. The summer fried bit on there is so nice. And then I just made a salad with some raw cabbage, carrots, and lettuce. And then we've just got some chips as well. So this is what we're going to be having tonight. And the kids, you can't wait, can you, Kayla Bay? My mouth is watering. Well, tonight is fish and chips, mushy peas, and then we've got loads of veg. There's Brussels sprouts, broccoli, carrots, green beans, and red cabbage. If you're new here, um, you might not know that I just like to load up everybody's plate with loads and loads of veggies. Um, thankfully, the kids like all the veggies. So yes, this is what is for dinner today. And um, it looks a bit messy, by the way. Let's cut the blit. What are you calling it? <laughs> <laughs> British bloomer. Uh, is that a Cockney accent? A British bloomer. You do it with a Scouse one. A British bloomer like. <laughs> a British bloomer. I hope it's cooked inside. I've not baked a bread for ages. Right, let's see what it's like inside. <clears throat> Wow, does it smell nice? Put on anything you want, normally chips. People from South Africa or Namibia, obviously they might be like, no, but you're supposed to do this and do that. We're, we're obviously over on this side and... Are you putting an English spin on it? Yeah, like, I know growing up, we, we would put on anything, especially chips, you, you know, portion yeah. of chips. 
steak, meat, whatever you want. Tomatoes, lettuce. You call them slap chips. Slap is it? chips. Yeah. Forged slap. chips. Is that sloppy chips? Does that mean it means slap chips? <laughs> you call them fries. In America, they call them fries more. But we call, call them chips. Skinny chips. Skinny, skinny ones are fries, but chips for the ones from Chippy. <clears throat> now I know we could have cut it and just leave it for, but but because of time is of the end. So you're using spinach. Use spinach. Spinach. There's the gherkins. Mustard, French mustard, gherkins. Onions and some peppers. Fried onions and peppers. It's, it's good to use a scissors. scissors. You can use, obviously, some people like to cut it really nicely as well with yeah. a knife. But. So the meat is on. You're going to put the chips on now. That is massive. All done. And Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!